What is good, beautiful people? Happy Black Friday. Hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving with your loved ones. You ate a lot of turkey. So I just finished off a little arms and delts workout. I always get the best workouts right after Thanksgiving. So um, really good workout session. And now I just want to hop on here real quick and check in and give a little Connor talk because I like doing these things. So this one is going to be about how to build a successful personal brand and the idea of mentorship. So here we go. So I think a lot of people overcomplicate things when they are, everyone has their own personal brand, right? Um, and I think in today's age, it's more relevant than ever. And a lot of people kind of overcomplicate things and don't, don't execute or don't do things because they're strategizing, they're overcomplicating things. So how do I make the most pristine version of myself, you know, on Instagram, especially on the social media platforms, everyone is so hypercritical on numbers, right? Quantitative numbers, engagement, all this other stuff with all these social platforms where you're creating this personal brand online with this online presence. And in my opinion, I think too often people kind of overcomplicate or over strategize and, and, and don't put enough info or value out there. So your goal should be to be exactly who you are. You have your own style, your own swagger, your own attractiveness to the rest of the world. You who you are is a scarce commodity. You don't need to be exactly like anyone else to be special, to be amazing, to be unique, because you already are. Now, contemplate what space you want to occupy with your brand and take also take bits and pieces from the skill sets of the people that are doing what you want to be doing and put your own spin on it. Instead of letting that become a complicated mental strategy of yours, just let it come out of you. It is a nuance, an emotion, it's a courageous transparency and authenticity that people are attracted to. It, it took me a long time to understand and develop that and you know, I'm, all, I'm still developing and understanding that every single day. Now, I'm super introverted. I'm probably the biggest introvert you'll ever meet in your entire life. So for me, it was, it was hard, but it's still hard, but I'm trying, um, I'm trying to get better at creating this brand because I know what can come from it. Right? So if you can develop that, there's literally nothing that you can't do in this world. So overall, your goal should be to cultivate and push out into the world that alpha and confident identity that lives inside of you, that you pretend to be when no one is watching, when no one's around. And think of examples when you're listening to music that you're vibing to and you're, you're feeling awesome and you're, you're driving in your car in the shower and you're like, yeah, I'm confident and I'm an alpha dude or, or girl that that version of you is going to be the one that everyone is attracted to. It is simply just a matter of being courageous enough to put it out there and being patient enough to allow it to develop and also being consistent with it. So every single human has it in them. They just struggle with cultivating the courage to put it out. So put it out and work to develop and brand it. Everyone has a unique vibe to their own stuff and that is what is attractive. That is what is the most attractive thing about you. It is attractive to people who are the opposite sex, the same sex. You know, if you're a business, your customers, people that, your friends, people that want to be around you, they want to consume more of it because they cannot get it anywhere else. It is scarce, so it is valuable. And that can only happen through your own personal development. So the last piece here, just going off script, what I actually do is write these down in my notes and I just read them off because Sometimes it's easier for me to just logically look at things like that and go in order. So um, that's kind of how I do this. So at the end, I just want to recap it. Um, overall to me, what this message means to me is who you are when no one's around. It's something called integrity and character. And you should be that person more often. 
and don't let other people's opinions of you influence you direct your choices that you make in your life and just be you because that's the coolest thing about you so that's all i got i hope you found some value from this um and just hope you have a great day happy friday i'll see you soon love you peace